Hey everybody, it's Aaron and welcome back to the House of Aaron. All right, you guys, I am Aaron and welcome back to the House of Aaron where we talk news, celebrities, hot topics, and politics. I am super excited. I know I'm late, okay? We went the whole week without a video. Actually, we did have a video on Wednesday, which went up late because it was supposed to go up on Tuesday. And yeah, so I wanna get to a point where I could do three videos a week, preferably Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we're gonna try to make that happen next week. Fingers crossed that we can make it work, but I'm gonna experiment and put this up on Friday night and see how that goes. We got some hot topics to go over with um it's gonna be it's gonna be good okay so today we're talking about Whoopi Goldberg versus Meghan McCain on the view because it's getting hot and spicy and it's a whole hot ass mess um we're gonna get into some things when it comes uh to that we're gonna talk about who won Halloween okay it is November 1st okay we need to get into who won Halloween all the best costumes and we're also going to be talking about Trisha Paytas and how this bitch is just off all types of rockers okay okay you guys so i actually want to start off by uh clarifying a couple of things so last video i talked about tasha k armand wiggins candace from daytime tea time all over again you know this story i've been following this story okay it was like my third or so video on it um and armand wiggins actually commented okay so the video was about um how tasha k storm Monroe exposed armand and candace for coming up with fake tea by having a caller come on Armand's show and just spilling all types of tea on Tasha K. He was in the house, y'all, okay? He came to the house of Aaron and commented. He actually commented and then deleted, but thankfully YouTube keeps all the receipts because I'm a small channel, so whenever I get a subscriber and whenever I get a comment, it comes to my email. It tells me who subscribes, at what time they subscribe. It tells me who comments and at what time. So we actually have the receipt. He actually did comment on the video, and this is what he said. Cute kid but bruh it's one thing to not like me however how are you talking about credibility when there is literally no proof of me setting this up and you are running with it it's sad when people in your own community want to run with false narratives without doing any research did you watch the shows when he originally called in like seriously niggas really be on some bs you must be trying to get a repost from tasha k get your clicks my guy but you're bugging okay so he commented that and then quickly i want to say like maybe 10 15 minutes later he deleted it i don't know why he he i do that all the time you know when i'm on youtube or if i'm on instagram and i'm really feeling some type of way about something that i just saw i'll comment it and then i'll post it and then i'm like i don't even want to be involved i don't even want to get um, take take that shit down um but i just wanted to read that out to you guys because i'm fair and i'm balanced and i want to give both sides i'm not saying that tasha k is innocent i'm not saying she's an angel because she is far from an angel but it is my job to comment on what I see, okay? Whatever I see, whatever I watch, whatever I hear, whatever I know of, it's my job to comment on that. I am not a journalist. I'm not gonna be an investigator. I'm not getting interviews. I'm not trying to find evidence and find proof. My only job is to give my opinion about what's already out there. That's my only job. And if my opinion is that I believe that you set this guy up to spill all this fake tea on Tasha K, then that's my opinion. My opinion may be wrong. What I believe may be wrong, but I can only comment off of what I see. Um, I don't know if he set that guy up or not. There's no proof that Armand set him up, but there's also no proof that he didn't set him up. So it's just, it's all up for interpretation. All I'm doing is just commenting how I feel. Um, and we had a lot of, and also I am not trying to get no shout out from or repost from Tasha K. I'm not a fan of hers like that. Like I'm subscribed to her and I watch her every once every blue moon, but I'm not a fan. Let me tell y'all who I'm a fan of. Okay. I like Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked. Um, I fucks with him heavy. I really love his podcast with Melissa Ford and DJ Damage. I fuck with King of Reeds. I love his spirit. His spirit is golden. Like we need to protect King of Reeds. He's everything. And then I also fuck with DJ Richie Sky, and he talks about all the housewives, Atlanta, Potomac, and everything in between. Those are the people that I look up to. Those are the people that I like. If I'm trying to get a repost or, you know, a shout out from any uh, blogger on YouTube, it would be those three people. Everybody else is just like... I don't really like I'm not a Tasha K fan and I don't want a retweet or I don't want to be associated with her like that because she do her dirty schemes herself anyways that's not what this video is about but I just wanted to say that okay so moving on to the meat of the video the winner of Halloween okay so this is probably going to be really surprising to you guys and there were a lot of good looks some honorable mentions I will say Nikita Dragon killed Halloween okay she murdered Halloween she was celebrating all week I think she had like six different costumes 
costumes. Like, it was insane. Kylie Jenner also killed it when she did Marilyn Monroe. I really liked Winnie Harlow also did Marilyn Monroe, which was really cute. Um, I really liked Kim Kardashian and how she did Elle Woods. I liked how she connected it to her life because she's like, you know, pretty girl um, who's known for her looks, but wants to have a career in law. And that's exactly what Elle Woods, it, it, it connected with her life. Like Elle Woods but is Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is Elle Woods. Beyonce really started this trend uh, when it comes to these celebrities doing these elaborate Halloween costumes and then like doing full fledged like magazine esque photo shoots for them. We all know who started that, okay? Beyonce was doing that years ago and now all these celebrities wanna have like dedicated photo shoots just so they can have like a Halloween costume pic up on their Instagram. Um, so I was really impressed. There was a lot of good costumes. In my opinion, the winner of Halloween, in, in, just me, this is just me, goes to Nicki Minaj, okay? Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty, the newlyweds, they to me won uh, Halloween. The one with the Chucky and the Bride of Chucky, that was so adorable to me and it really made me like Kenneth Petty. And then they had posted up a photo joking about the ring. Speaking of the ring, where is my ring? My ring ain't on today. They put up an Instagram post joking about the ring and who bought the ring. And that was the first time that I ever heard him speak. So I was like, oh, he seems like a really nice, cool dude. And they looked really, really cute. So I, I'm, I'm a little bit biased because I am a Nicki Minaj fan. But sh to me, the Chucky and the Bride of Chucky, it, that was that was all, that was, that was it. Okay, I loved it. Okay, moving on to the meat of the video, okay? We got to talk about Megan McCain versus Whoopi Goldberg because y'all, it is going down on The View. Um, and we gotta get into some things because I am so sick and tired of being sick and tired of Megan McCain. She's getting on my ever-loving nerves. She was on The View, of course, she's a co-host. And you know, they talk about all the politics and y'all know I'm obsessed with politics. So I'm gonna show you guys this particular clip when it came to Megan and Whoopi. They were talking about the people that were testifying for the impeachment inquiry. Um, it was this one man, he actually worked for the White House. He worked for the Trump administration. I think he was the one that I was actually listening in on the call with Donald Trump and the president of Ukraine. And of course, all the Republicans and conservatives are smearing him, trying to make it seem like he's not credible. And I guess they were fighting about that on The View, but it got really heated. So check this clip out. We really do want to hear from everybody, but we're starting to do that thing. Right. And so I'm dead. I don't know I'm what just, that means, this thing. It means you're talking well, over each other. Well, it's, a sh it's The View. It is The View. <laughs> You know what? Let me tell you something about The View. Whoopi really wanted to say something else. Because it's like, bitch, who the fuck do you think? I would have been like, bitch, first off, you need to stay on that side because you are the newest cast member and you don't need to be speaking to us like this. Okay, yes, bitch, we know this is The View, but let me tell you something about the motherfucking View, ho. Megan really was like, well, this is The View. Like, duh, it's The View, but nobody likes it. When, I mean, we love the fighting. We love the drama. Like, I was living for this, but this really pissed me off because it's just like, bitch, she lacks self-awareness. Whoopi is the moderator. That is her job is to moderate you hoes. Okay, because y'all are always talking amongst each other and talking over each other and doing that. And then when Whoopi was like, we're starting to do the thing, uh, Megan was like, well, what is the thing? Like, what, what are you talking about? Trying to act oblivious and dumb. Like, bitch, you're not that dumb. Like, bitch, you know what the thing is. Y'all hoes is always talking over each other and nobody likes that shit. So y'all need to calm the hell down, okay, and talk like civilized women. It blows my mind how no one puts this woman in her place like she is the biggest brat that the view has ever seen and i'm glad whoopi was like well let me tell you something about the view baby because what you're not gonna do is disrespect me on this platform it is whoopi's job to go to commercial break and to sign off and to sign on and to introduce the topics and to keep everybody in line and make sure that everybody gets a chance to express their view the point of the show is so that we can have the progressives and the liberals and the moderates all share their points of view and so that the people at home can listen to the points of view as well and people's opinions and come up with their own opinion. Megan, the point of the show is not to talk over each other, okay? Maybe that's what you did at home and I don't know how she was raised at home. It's just amazing to me that she could go to work every day and be so rude and then it goes unchecked and it's just, it's crazy to me. I feel like the only person that really puts her in her place is Joy. I'm just, I can't even, I don't even know what to say about it because it's just like, 
And then not only was she being so fucking rude to Whoopi, but she also wants to be rude to the guests. So I don't know if this was a different episode, the same episode. I don't really know. Like all the days, Monday through Friday is just one day to me. They had Cory Booker on there, which I actually like Cory Booker, even though he's at the bottom of the totem pole right now when it comes to the 2020 election. He really had some really, really good answers when he went on the view that made me like him. But Megan wanted to bring in this conversation about gun control and gun buybacks, and she was incredibly nasty okay just disgusting uh when he was trying to answer the question about gun buybacks check this clip out how you think you and beto are gonna go into red states and go to my brother's house and get his ar-15s because let me tell you he's not giving it back so my, my point is this and i'm not where where beto is in, in, in the way he's been good, talking about he's this crazy issue. well uh, again <laughs> <laughs> we should watch the way we talk about each other seriously we yeah. can't tear the character of people down we have different beliefs so he has no person. problem doing it to me what we say about other people says more about us than it does about okay them. what about the gun buybacks and, and i said this is a moment where you need a revival of civic grace we need a revival of civic gun grace buybacks. <laughs> which is directly related to gun buybacks. If you would just hold on for just a second, you could see that, you know, he's trying to get to answering the question. Like, girl, calm down. He's going to answer your question. And we know it's a time show, but can I, if I was him, I would have been like, Anyways, next question. Because you're not gonna keep harassing me. That's what she was doing. She was harassing that man. So you need to shut the hell up and let me answer. Like, I was so disappointed, but he handled it with a lot of class. And I guess Cory Booker's whole thing is like, you know what, I want to be, he, he doesn't wanna be Barack Obama. He wants to be very civil and be very peaceful and you know, all that type of stuff. But I don't know if that's gonna fly um, in this election because we have Donald Trump. And like Megan McKay, I do agree with Megan when she says, Donald Trump is a thug and he's going to fight and he's going to attack. He went to the president of Ukraine to solicit dirt on Joe Biden so that Ukraine's could interfere in our elections. Like, do y'all not understand how insane that is? He will go to the ends of the earth to dig up dirt on his opponents, even if it means breaking the law, okay? Because we all know at this point he's a criminal. And I also want to say this while we're on the topic. I am so disgusted and just i'm appalled at the fact that the republicans in congress are voting no to this impeachment inquiry when we have a literal criminal living and breathing in the white house and every single republican in the house of reps who voted no on the uh resolution yesterday y'all should be ashamed of yourselves okay so that's all i got to say on that megan get it the fuck together um if i was a producer i would check that ass because bitch you're getting out of control and it's just a mess okay so the next topic i wanted to talk about was trisha paytas she was recently on a podcast called h3 h3 podcast it's a podcast that i have never heard of but when trisha paytas was on there i heard of it you know all the videos were popping up so I was like, okay, let me click on this. And they were talking about Trisha Paytas' trans video. Now, a week or two or three ago, I did a video on Trisha Paytas and her coming out as trans. She wants to be a man, but she's a female, but still wants to look like a woman. And, and then she likes gay men. And she wanted to say that she's attracted to gay men. And it's, it's a mess. Like, I don't think she understands that there's a difference between sex assigned at birth sexuality and then gender she's so confused and it's so sad but anyways so she was on this podcast right and the guy totally exposed that ass because he um was like you're making money off of this trans video after you claim that you did not and she's steady going no i'm not making money off of it i swear to god i'm not making money off of it so he was like bitch pull up that app pull up that youtube studio app and let's see what's t sis and of course uh, she was making money off the video because every YouTuber knows when you see that green uh, money sign, the coins are coming through. Check this clip out. Three million views, green icon, monetized, and I'm <laughs> gonna tell you exactly how much money no, she don't made. Tell <laughs> she made eight thousand dollars from that video. All right, so as y'all saw, she got exposed for making money off the trans video, eight thousand dollars. Lord Jesus, I wish I was making eight thousand dollars on a video like that. Just. Oh my gosh, like, that is a lot of money. But this just further proves that Trisha Paytas is a liar. She's a crook. She is to not be trusted. I think I'm still subscribed to her and I do watch her from time to time. And she is, she does, 
I don't know. I go between liking her and then not liking her because she's very likable as far as her natural, just regular personality and the way that she chooses to go about her everyday life. But then at the same time, it's like she's a crook and a freak and a fraud because it's like you're lying about not making money off of a video and now you've been exposed for making $8,000 off of a video. It's like I'll watch her, but I still don't fuck with her at the same time. Like, it's, I don't know, it's confusing. Um, but don't use the trans community or the trans experience to make a buck and make fun of the experience. Like, it's just, that's just lame, okay? You look real lame out here. That's gonna be my new catchphrase. You look real lame. You're looking real raggedy and you're looking real lame right now. That's all I have to talk about. So now let's get into my obsessions for the week. Real Housewives of Atlanta premieres this Sunday, November 3rd. Every Monday is going to be dedicated to the Real Housewives of Atlanta because you know I have to talk about my girls Portia, Nene, Kenya, Tanya, everybody in between, Cynthia, Eva. It's been to be so motherfucking good and I cannot wait. Every Monday starting November 4th, I will be reviewing the show. So tune in this Monday. That will be my next video. Monday, November 4th. I'm gonna try to have the videos out at least by one o'clock every Monday, the day after the show airs. I'm excited. So I'm gonna be giving y'all the reviews. It's gonna be amazing. Another thing I'm obsessed with is Tanache. She recently released her song and music video for Die A Little Bit featuring Miss Banks. It's a bop. Okay, everything Tanache does turns to gold. I mean, the bitch is doing her damn thing. She is back and she's killing it. So if you haven't already, go ahead, go to Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, whatever you have, and go listen to Tanache's new song. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel, youtube.com slash life of Aaron. Subscribe there to see my life. I'm actually gonna be making an announcement video about this channel on that channel pretty soon because I'm gonna be changing the format. I'm gonna be vlogging one once a month. And also check me out on social media, Twitter and Instagram at Aaron E. Kenan. It will be in the description down below. All right, you guys, uh, comment, subscribe, like this video, and don't forget to create a great day. Mwah. Bye.